Welcome to another episode of Tinkering Experiments. In this episode, we'll be using wood glue to smooth out our print. It was mentioned a couple times by our subscribers and we're finally taking a look at it. I'm not sure how this will work out, but I heard good things about it, so we'll find out today. I'll place the print onto a glass bed, and then we'll put some wood glue on the side, and then we'll use a print removal knife to spread it onto the print. I'll try to spread it as evenly as possible. I'm not too sure how thick the layer should be, so I'll just adjust accordingly. It looks pretty good so far. Afterwards, we'll let it dry. I'm not too sure if we need a second layer, but let's add it on just to be safe. It's kind of hard to apply this evenly, and even if I did, the glue would slowly droop down and then create this more fatter layer at the bottom. I think I'm being a bit too ambitious doing the whole print in one go. I probably should have done one face at a time. Okay, it's dry now. Let's take a look at it. I see a lot of bumpy spots. Let's trim it a bit with a razor blade to make it into an even surface. Once we are done, I'm going to spray paint it and that will give us a better idea on how it went. Now we can take a look at it. The parts where I shaved off are more apparent after spray paint. I actually didn't really expect that. I thought it would be more even, but I guess not. Some parts are really smooth and some parts are a bit bumpy because the glue wasn't applied evenly. Some of the details of the parts are lost as well from the wood glue application. That being said, the primary purpose was to smooth the print out and I guess it did work out as I don't really see any layers anymore on the print. Well there we have it, we tried using wood glue as a method to smooth out our PLA and it works. It definitely did smooth out our print as we don't see any of those layers anymore. That being said, I do have to find a different method in the application to apply it more evenly and less thick of a coat. Perhaps one coat was already enough. Before I end, I just want to remind everyone about Tinkering You. The platform has a lot of teaching resources on 3D printing and how you can incorporate it into your curriculum. So be sure to check it out. That's the end of our experiment. If you liked the video, please give us a thumbs up. And if you did not, then thumbs down below. Remember to subscribe and comment on what experiments you would like to see in the future. Thank you for watching. Tinker out.